Hello everybody, welcome back to Pike's Peak Rush. We are back with the final vehicle. This is the Taiga Dancer Sport. It's the same engine, turbocharged with all-wheel drive. I just have a few things to set up, and due to this being the last vehicle of the series, I decided to take off the music and do it by myself, just so we have something to listen to. So why don't we get started? Three, two, one, go. It's a bit twitchy. <laughs> Might have added a bit too much horsepower, but This vehicle is more able to be handled better than the uh, the boxer from last episode. And I guess I know there's two red vehicles back to back. Um, I, I didn't notice that when I was picking the vehicles. I made this vehicle basically for the gravel circuit. There's a slight change of rules. The top two vehicles will be sent to the next round including the slowest vehicle, which will be modified for Season 2. There's two challenges in the Season 1. Well, technically there's three challenges for Season 1. It's going to be the two Pike Peak, Pike's Peak maps, this one and the gravel one. And then after we're done the gravel map, we'll be taking all the vehicles going to a map called Baja Rama. As you might know from my other series, Baja Rama, the uh, Driven Till Death series. Where we'll drive the vehicles till death. my mind yet on what the third challenge will be, but I just want to give these vehicles more playtime in the series before making season two where I create another new set of vehicles. I don't want to jinx it, but this vehicle's doing a lot better than the other car, than the Pelican Stinger. Did 
not want to hit that rock. I think this vehicle is going to do phenomenal on the gravel stage since because of its all-wheel drive system. Where I think there are going to be a, a few vehicles that are going to be getting a little more than five penalties in the next map. That was a long screech. Sorry, I'm quiet. I thought I was going to have more commentary, but I don't. It's almost like I need to write a small script or just have a list of topics to talk about. from this and the Tiger Dancer standard. This one's a lot funner to drive, but it's still subtle. That is not annoying. smoother, I will say that. This won't come top one with the Kirito, uh, Venom Kirito, but it should get pretty good. It's able to do quite high speeds. For all the vehicles though to be um, disqualified, I would have thought it would have been the Neat Explorer and the uh, Refax, but instead it was actually the Pelican Stinger, the car that I made thinking that it was going to end up being the number one. The whole time that I've been saying, there's going to be a vehicle that's going to be beating all of these out of the water. But then, this all-wheel drive system in this game just doesn't work very well. So instead of the front end gripping like it should be, it just slides right off. Oh, 
ahora. ahora. got through the corn better than the than the uh, Carita. That was a save. It is handling nicely. Step on it, Chewy. Holy fuck. Cross the line. And the Taiga Dancer Sport crosses the line with a 12 minutes, 36 seconds. With zero penalties, making 12 minutes, 36 seconds its total final time. Putting the Taiga Dancer Sport in first place, beating the Venom Kirito by almost a minute. Holy fuck. So that makes... This little car, which I thought was, wasn't going to get that good of a time, but was going to be better than its ancestor. It may, <laughs> Holy fuck. This car is amazing. And with that... I think this car deserves some victory donuts. <laughs> I am so happy. Can't believe this car did this well.
so happy. So in the vehicle, in this video's description, I'm gonna have this vehicle's time. But I'm gonna have another vid video coming out right after this video, showing the vehicle standings for first, second, and third, and what vehicle will be possibly being the slowest. But that's the thing. This vehicle might be first for pavement. Might not get first in gravel. But we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later.